The mineral property luster is defined as how light reflects off the surface of a mineral. And when we look at luster, we first start by grouping it into two categories. The first category we call metallic, which means when we look at the mineral, the light coming off it is shining like a metal. So when we look at a couple of minerals that have that luster, right away you can see these are metallic. Not only do they shine like a metal, but I'll go a little bit farther and say they look like a metal. So if you're pondering, is it metallic, is it non-metallic, and you have to question it, you're likely looking at non-metallic because metallic, you will know right off the bat. The second group of lusters for minerals that we have is non-metallic. And because there are so many different non-metallic lusters, we actually have to break this group down further as compared to our metallic luster group. The first non-metallic luster that we look at is vitreous, which means it shines like a glass. And when we look at minerals that have a vitreous luster, we're going to see white light reflecting off of the mineral back to our eye. So white light's coming from the ceiling, and when we look at the mineral and we move it around, you'll see flashes of white light coming off it, telling us that's a vitreous luster. Even if the mineral is a different color, we still get that white light bouncing off it, telling us vitreous luster. Even if we're looking at a very dark colored mineral, when we move it around, if we see that flash of white light, kind of like a camera flash, we know that this mineral has vitreous luster. The second in the group of non-metallic lusters is pearly. Now this one is more difficult to see because what we're actually looking at is light being broken into colors. And the way I describe it for students is that when we look at a mineral that has pearly luster, we should see something that looks like oil on water, kind of the colors floating on the surface. Now, it's next to impossible to see in this video because all you're seeing uh, because of its reflectivity is the white light from the ceiling. But in person, when you have this mineral and you kind of flex it, you're able to see colors being broken. And there's a good little pocket by my finger that's showing that. And when you're in person and you move it around and look at it, you actually do see uh, the different colors from the light being broken on the surface. The third of the non-metallic lusters is greasy waxy. This has look, both the look and the feel of wax, and it may also sometimes feel soapy or greasy. So when we look at minerals with this luster, we can see... It looks kind of greasy, it doesn't really have a shine, but you see the light kind of waxes across the surface, another origin for the name of this luster. And when you feel it, it is soapy to the touch. Or again, looking like a piece of wax, the light is waxing across it, and it has that smooth feel like candle wax. The last luster, again in the non-metallic group, is dull. And here we're looking at no light being reflected, and the mineral also may be powdery, so that when we touch it, we can actually feel the powdery nature of it. It might leave a little bit of residue on your finger. And when we move it around, we see that light is not bouncing off it. You may see a little shine of light here. Uh, this is from oils from people's hands over the years getting built up. But when we look at a fresh surface, which is the yellow, you'll see that no light is being reflected. Same with this red sample. We're not seeing any light coming off of that mineral surface. These are the different lusters that you will need to know as we go through the lab.